Hey guys, it's Kelly. Um, videos again, it's late. It's just a normal trend for me. Wednesdays are awful days for me. They used to be the best, now they're shitty. Um, this week's topic is catfish stories. And if I'm thinking correctly, hopefully I am, or this video is going to be completely off topic. Um, catfish as in um, meet someone on the internet, they end up not being who you think they are. I'm pretty sure there's a movie about it. I'm pretty sure there's a show about it now, actually. Um, because it happens that often. Um, I actually do have one of these stories. And I don't even like telling it because it makes me feel so stupid. Um, I had met a girl on a website, honestly, you know what, I can't even remember what it is now. I don't even know if it's still running. I just remember the uh, lead singer from OTEP was running it. The Girls Network or some, something, some lesbian website anyway. I'm clearly not a part of it anymore, with good reason. So, I met her on there and we started talking and we uh, really hit it off. Um, she's very, very intelligent. She, I'm hoping it was a she, even if it wasn't who she said she was. Um, very cool down to earth, uh, very creative, um, basically everything that I wanted in a package as uh, a potential mate, <laughs> uh, someone who's intellectual and active and creative and into the arts and into music and basically everything that I'm into and it just seemed like an uh, instant click. Um, she was apparently from the U.S. I'm not going to go into big details because I don't know who this person is. And regardless, I don't... Regardless of what she did to me, I don't want to put her stuff out there for people to search and um, harass and all that stuff. So I'm just going to leave names and places and all that stuff out of it because there's really no need of it. Um, this was a few years ago anyway. I was in college at the time. Um, I was in university when I first met her, actually. And uh, it lasted clearly for longer than it should have. Uh, it turned into an actual relationship, um, all online. Why I thought this was a good idea, I mean, I, there's really no need for me to have online girlfriends, but obviously there had been talk of her coming to see me and um, at some point me going to see her when I was finished with school. Uh, so we had made plans and she had showed me proof of buying flight tickets and uh, of course when that day had come or the day before something big would happen. Um, and when I mean big, I mean big. I mean like something you'd see in a fucking television show. Actually, some of it, I don't even know how a person could come up with it. Um, I, I remember once she went missing, missing for, what, it was probably like five days, and I was shitting bricks. I thought this was like a legit thing. I was very upset. I was crying over this girl that I didn't even know, other than, you know, talking to her online, texting her, um, the occasional phone call. Um, she made up this big story, she even had her friends texting me, her friends, which was probably her and another fucking prepaid cell phone or something. I mean, whoever this was put a lot of effort into it, and why, I don't know. To score a few partially new photos for me, I don't know why. I, they had some sort of fascination with fucking with my head. Um, it lasted probably a year and a half, and I'm ashamed to say that. I wasted a year and a half of my life, and I pushed away other females that were interested in me, and that I knew for a fact were real, because I had met them, I had seen them with my own eyes. Um, and not only this girl, she treated me horribly. Like, 
if I couldn't even leave the house with her, with her calling me a whore and a slut and a bitch and a liar and all this other stuff. And in reality, I was not doing anything. I was so loyal to this girl that I never even knew. I was disregarding any advances that were made on me for this girl that I hadn't met. This girl who kept disappointing me. Um, honestly, it was a year and a half of the most inner conflict and turmoil. And I have never been put through so much stuff for someone that I still don't know if they were real. Um, the way the whole thing came down was I had found, uh, actually it was my sister who found it. She is like uh, the detective when it comes to girls. She found out quite a few things about girls that I'm dating that have been lying to me. So props to her, she's awesome. Um, there had been this website and there was pages on Facebook about this girl, this model, I don't even know who she was. Um, who's, this person was, who was talking to me was stealing her pictures. Because this person was like five years older and was married to a man and like had a family and kids and stuff now. So she had stole all this girl's older pictures and was using them as her own. And she was using them on several websites. And this does happen. How do I know this happens? Because this happens to me every day. Do you know how many times I went on random websites? Some of them, like, really awful. Like, the worst one yet was probably my picture was up on a teenage porn site. Number one, I'm not a fucking teenager. I'm 26 years old. And if you cannot tell that by looking at me, there's something wrong with you. I'm not 16, I'm not 17, I'm far from it. Yes, I might look young, but I am no teenager. So my picture's up on this teenage sex site, and I obviously did not put it there. And there's been a few other sites. There's one girl or guy, I don't know who the fuck it was, it was probably this girl that was dating me. It's like all is jumble. This probably makes no sense to any of you. I'm having a hard time getting it out of my mouth properly. But yeah, people, you have to be careful. And I've learned this very slowly, and at this point, there's no real stopping it. Um, I have a habit of, I had a habit of just um, accepting people that were adding me on Facebook. It's Facebook, right? Like, when I first signed up, it wasn't anything personal. Now I'm a little more iffy with who I'm adding. If I have no mutual friends with you, I'm not going to add you. If you're a 14-year-old boy, I'm not going to add you. If you're a 14-year-old girl, I am not going to add you. Maybe some of you are 14. I'm sorry, I can't add you. If you're 14, there's no need of you being on my Facebook. Um, so be careful, because this stuff happens. you gotta, you got to learn not to trust people. And some of us don't trust people. Some of us are not naive. I am, and I still am to this day, even after all this, after this girl that lied to me. She made up stories about her being kidnapped and raped and beaten. And at one point, I thought she was dying. Her mother had me on the phone. Her mother, her friend, I don't know who the fuck it was. Her mother had me on the phone telling me that she was going to die within hours. And I thought this person was real, so my heart broke. And when I found out all this was a lie, my heart broke even more. Because I still had feelings for this person that I never knew. I still don't know who they are. I will never know. I will probably never know who they are. And there are still days that I think back on this and I wonder who the fuck this person was. And I feel bad for them that they felt the need to hide who they were, really were in order to talk to me. Um, maybe it was all a joke to them. Maybe they felt that if they showed themselves as who they really were, I wouldn't be interested. I don't know what their story was. All I know is, is you lie to people, you manipulate them. You screw with their head. It ruins them. Like, 
they're making a series out of this. It's not funny. Maybe it's funny to watch. But when you are in this situation, I can assure you, it is the farthest thing from being funny. It's heart-wrenching. And it does something to you inside. And maybe I'm sounding over dramatic, but you don't know what I went through. This is a year and a half of my life. This is a year and a half I will never get back. It's a year and a half of horrible things that were said to me that I can't get out of my head. It's a year and a half of my life that I wasted, that I have to deal with the fact that I was that dumb that I believed it, even when all the signs were there that I shouldn't have. So, you're all probably thinking this is going to be a funny story. I tend to have a sense of humor when it comes to most of these videos, but it's just not funny. Um, I don't know why people do it, and it's going to continue to happen because there's always going to be that person that is naive enough and sensitive enough and open enough to open their heart and their mind and be willing to listen to this person. We're always going to be out there. We're always going to be there for people to take advantage of. It's the way it is. So, on that note, I'm going to end it. I could go into real depth with this, but like I said, this is like a year and a half of ridiculous stuff that went down. But um, I'm not going to go into details, like I said. I'm not going to get into it. This person, she could be watching these videos right now. She no doubt still follows me and he or she or whatever the hell this person is um, follows me and watches what I'm doing. I would not be surprised if that's the case. I have nothing bad to say really other than the fact that it hurt and uh, I'm over it clearly and I'm more cautious now when it comes to meeting people online. Um, yep. So I'm going to end it there. Again, I apologize for being late, but Wednesday is just they're my busiest day. Um, I can't really do much about it. I try to be on time when I can. Otherwise, it's just impossible. I don't really have even a second to get on the computer. Um, yep. All right. Done rambling for the day. Um, I'll see you guys next, next week, and hopefully it'll maybe be on the proper day. and maybe upload on a Wednesday instead of a Thursday. Um, okay, have a good week, guys. We'll talk to you guys next week.